I'm Casentino, and we're back for more. Uh, let me bring it up on the screen here. After a two-week drop, back to Ace Attorney. Uh, when we last left off, I think we took a two-hour, three-minute. It was supposed to be a 30-minute recess. It turned out to be about mm, two weeks. <laughs> but uh, let's be honest. Uh, Robocop came out. Robocop demo came out. And uh, I really am getting, really wanting to get done with uh, try 100% on Bloodstained. And I really enjoyed watching the... Uh, Battle streamer. What a dumb. I, I, I said, I think I said in the last stream, what a dumb name, Bloodless. I hate We're going to call her Bloodless. Bloodless, the, bat, the uh, vampire streamer. I do one of those. I think we mentioned that before, too. I love vampire streamers. I know about at least one. I mean, I think my buddy Sarah. Uh, named another one that's currently does not um, stream anymore. Probably from Hall of Life. Uh, but let's go. Trial Ladder. Let's select the Yes. Yes, we did. And now we're done with it. And Mr. White? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Hi. Like you're swimming up from the ball of the lake. I think about to reach the surface. Yes. No matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Eh, pretty much. <laughs> Except today we're swimming in quicksand. So what happened to your sister today, anyway? I mean, she got called to the judge's sick chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn the trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny and significant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and significant to tell the truth. Hola, partner. Uh, I think I know who this is. Yep. Hey, Marshal. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshal! Thought I'd come by, take a look, see how all the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. We've got the home ranch locked down tighter than the fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You should be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in the muffins, for example. And Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. Don't say. Now, don't that just beat all. I've seen the red breeze blow at her on her neck many a time. I saw her that day, too. She was wearing a red muffler. the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth's been to it you know, too, I read it. What does that mean? It, it means they've all been at the celebration. Jesus. In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. And this star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you've got to let it, that bull go where it will. Time will tell. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> so, but 
are we swimming in right now, Mr. Wright? With steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Oh, ye, oh, we. Okay, then. Where? Okay. Bye bye. Turn your head. I'd like to resume. What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. <laughs> Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Considering that face we just saw, I'd say a lot's wrong. Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused, you're doubled over, your neck is bent. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> he went rabid. Ugh. Well then, I believe it is time we continued with this trial. During our recess, I had a, a requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is this unacceptable. Yes, I <laughs> see our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, uh, excuse me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh! <laughs> oh, man, this guy. <laughs> What's with this guy? Strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Hey, the temperature was 5.7 degrees He's when that man came in. <laughs> Who on earth is he? Oh, it's you! Guys, Jack, I could probably do his moves. <laughs> I think they. Oh! Uh, sorry I'm late, Aji. The words are, are packed. It's just me. <laughs> Music for this guy. Long time no see, eh, Yaji? How you been? Swim much these days? Oh, uh, hello, hello. No, I've been busy. Busy, busy, Yaji. My boy, you have to make time to relax. Yes, indeed. Yaji seems to be his nickname for the judge. Write it down. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. I'm um, sorry, but who are you? So you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Uh, uh, thanks. So sorry about our little worthy giving you all the trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly! Little worthy? <laughs> Mr. Wright? You don't know the district chief of police? He's a jolly man, son of a gun. Chief of police? He's a top-ranking police officer in the entire district. <laughs> this is how it times with the freaking music. God damn it. Name's Gantz. Damon Gantz. Pleased to meet you, everyone. And I wish you hadn't mentioned about his moves. God damn, because every time, every time he's on now. So, uh, what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came into this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at that poor fellow. I just thought I helped out by bringing this. Hey, th that's my sister's muffler. So, Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, in Miss Scott, I really was wearing the mop, so. But to think it was stuffed in that exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less.
It's really quite embarrassing even for us. What's this? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing this. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If you are investigators this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, now. Oh, wait a minute, were they? I have no desire to hear your excuse. I'm telling you to wait. Oh, didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there? Miss Isles Edgeworth. That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I had... You're head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a word an apology. What? Are you serious? <laughs> He's so upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. Wow. You can tell this guy's it could be his manager material. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. The court accepts this new evidence, but I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at this blade of this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, all you do is have, have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Priorities! Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point at anyone anymore. Eh, debatable. Come on, just hurry up and open it. Oh. It's doing it by itself. Who's scared? Look at this knife blade. The tip is broken off. This dark red stain. Blood? Dun dun dun. Which blade knife added to the court record? This, this does not have unexcused the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the police chief. He himself. Mm. It's actually a barbecue sauce. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Person used it to cut up a rack of ribs. <laughs> Likely, probably. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife. Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Department in disorder. Hmm. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. This was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department C. What a mess. The time of the crime? 515. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. Th there was a murder at a police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, Algie. 
We haven't exactly announced it yet. Objection. Wait a second. You said 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order, order, order! Anyway, we at the department are all a flustered, as we might well assume. We're in the middle of a top, top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? Wait for that! I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright? Two detectives kill at the same time, two different places. Chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. Well, okay, I'll agree with that one. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well, however, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Put me in disorder. Mm-hmm. Hard to come by this particular knife anywhere else. Might that special thing be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Raito. Oh, I can't say that now. Not that. The question of the knife from Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was this uh, another knife at the scene of the crime? That's quite a mystery. And like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. I'm not there. Unless there's evidence to connect with my, this knife and good then. It was a bad day. Any for the department. We wanted any. Not by. I, I, God damn it. Any shape to do this. an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? <laughs> an honest to goodness, what do you mean from the LG? This is great. Easily amused. This looks like the, a tag on his knife. It reads SL92. And this is important why. Over here we also have a memo that was written on the body of the victim. What's this? 6 minus 7 S 12 2? Your Honor? It's upside down. Upside. The pretty name on this memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around, what do you get? Aha! Yeah, the judge is telling Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. I sell not. That's the same thing that's written on this knife's tag. Order! Order! Well, Chief? Oh, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Righto! I win? What a game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in the cake. Ace, it was stolen from the department's evidence room. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape for an investigation. Something happened in the police department too, huh? Stop hitting the freak. Yeah, I hit the options button. Again. Somehow. I don't even know how. You got a good look in your eyes there, right here, my boy. Sharp. Hungry. So, something did happen, and why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Why weren't... Well, why didn't you ask? No matter. I understand. You were busy with that. But with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? 
What happened at the police department that day? The detective was killed at the... I always do that. At the police department, see? What a mess. God. <laughs> the time of the crime, 15. Scary coincidence, hey? Day that detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective was killed at the police department. That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, LG? Uh, lost for words. And the prosecutor, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested him. What was this? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, right -o. I suppose I could help, if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one! This kid's sharp! Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing, and one thing only. Um... How the victim was killed, when the victim died... Where was the victim found? So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. Evidence room? Wait, wait a second. I've heard of that. Didn't we men mention that in his testimony just now? Snap his evidence in the, in, the kit. in the case he was stolen from the department's evidence room. Where's there's a connection between the two cases. See, happiness, right? Happy? Happy, we just got handed our ticket to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Not officially linked. Can't talk much. Chief. The defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Eh? You don't say! Well, out with it, right -o. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, right? I almost called him right -o. <laughs> The connection is a place mentioned in its testimony we just heard. The knife found the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention, the victim had it on him that case number on the knife's evidence tower. We also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in the very same team evidence room. Indeed, there do seem to be too many connections for this to be a coincidence. Oops. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced he right here. I hmm. Chief. I request you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. Hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. Really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? Two detectives were killed at 519 prosecutor's office and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. That knife. What was he doing there? I better check this knife out. This knife was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the police evidence room. Small tag on the knife. Well, thank you, you Miss Obvious. Sweet wake up nectar. Sweet nectar.
after a knife life. I mean, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure if that reminds me of a similar color. Six maybe? Maybe that's a case number? That's weird. What? Remember where I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what's written on this tag. It wasn't that long ago either. I should have checked the court record again. Okay, we already... Where the victim was found? Yeah, we already... When the victim died. We already said that. Okay, we're gonna have to screw it. <clears throat> when Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? The murder at the prosecutor's place and the murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence? It's just my gut feeling, but I'd say there's a... Uh, I think you're overestimating it even by that. It's not happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. It's not officially linked to this case, so I can't make much about say much about it. Oh, I'm not 
Oh, oh well, in case information is sticky stuff. Yep, good. Everything properly. Try to get my can out of him. Okay, how about you tell us me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Oh, sure, why not? It's not like you'd be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. Don't tell me their name, my girl. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so uh, don't get a lid in, in your hopes up. Number is. Yeah, this. 5842189. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. 82. I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. I don't remember what the first number was. So I can't even rat on him. But Does tell you anything? ID of the victim. Like, please, find it. Oh, 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 look at the fancy man. Look at the fancy man. Oh, look at him. So good at remembering it. Actually, it does. You know where it does, I think. Meaning... Has to be what I think it is. What does it mean? <sighs> See the ID number of the detective. This murder police button tells us me something. What does it tell you? It tells me. I need to order pizza. Take that! Wait a minute. It's too late here to order pizza. Witness! Edward, what is it, Miss Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl at prom, prom night. Uh, no, it, it's just. I got confused. And this is new. And this is new. <laughs> Freaking Edgeworth. <laughs> huh? Just come out with it, both with guns blazing like you always do. Police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, -ho! is it yours? No, Your Honor, I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Righto. Personal LIDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 58421989. And this means what exactly? Whoosh! Huh? Wait. The ID number we just heard from the chief earlier. Woohoo! It, it boomeranged him in the back of the head. That started with 8 2 and I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right again. Number of the chief of police gave us. Was five eight four two one eight nine. Objection! Wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. Two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed on the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? You only li you only live twice, Mr. Wright. If you get that. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Sharp as attack, right? Oh, sharp as attack. Wait, Detective Goodman is all our victim. He was killed at 5:15 in an underground parking lot. Oh my God! Look at that face. 
FBI detective Good Bruce Goodman was also killed in in the police department at the evidence room in the exact same time. That's impossible. So what you're saying is the same person was killed at the same time and in a completely different location. Watch that movie. I think I got down there or Order, order, no! What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of this case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said, wait. What <laughs> did you hear me? The oversight, the grave error, Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How, how dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. So, Meekins? I never heard that name before. Wait, ha <laughs> oh. Hey, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere in the promises? I'm here, I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got on your report, sir. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. Your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman. Murdered at the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. <sighs> Why didn't your officer tell me? Yes, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem challenged. <laughs> In any case, this is a serious error, a gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. Sir! You could have submitted that report in this morning in the court, as evidence. Then I... No such luck this time. Worthy, or should I say... Unworthy. What? Now what was the second row of evidence or all? Hmm. Oh, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well it's uh Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is that rule relevant? Normally you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? That wasn't evidence. I could submit evidence until a connection was proven in the court. The connection was just proven by Righto over there. Good job, Righto, my boy! I, I, I just was doing my job. No. No. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy, but with all those rumors, you were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. Wow, what a dick! I apologize for this terrible lack. Of Due diligence on my part. Miss Edgeworth, please give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what might happen. If it's the last thing I do, you better get those results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. For Miss Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever 
been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Still, that will, will be sufficient. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edward? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is for your sake, I hope it is not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. To be continued. Wow, that was probably the shortest part 